Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to fold a book out of a piece of paper. The book that you'll get will have four pages, each double-sided. I use a regular size uh, paper, photocopy paper, for to make a book that's about this size. You'll also need some scissors and a pencil. To make the pictures and write uh, on it, you'll probably need some crayons or pencil crayons, sharpie, and if you want to glue anything on it, some tape or a glue stick. So you begin with your piece of uh, paper. A piece of paper is a rectangle. So we're going to take the two short edges and we're going to fold them together. Make sure you're matching the corners and that you're pressing down the paper really, really hard. I use the side of my nail to really make it flat. See, it's really stays flat, doesn't open up. And then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to fold it just along that same fold line on the other side. That makes what we call a flexible fold that will make your book uh, easier to uh, fold together at the end. Then now we've got two uh, equal uh, sections. Each one is a half, one half, one half, two halves of course. And now we're going to fold the paper in half again, but this way we're going to take the long edge of the paper and match it up to the other long edge. Matching the corners of course again, really pressing down hard. Don't forget to fold it again on the other side because that will give you your flexible fold. So you open it up and now we have four equal areas. Each one is called one-fourth or one-quarter, uh, so we've divided the whole into four equal ones, but we're not quite done yet. So now we're going to take the short edge and fold it to the middle. Now it's kind of hard to see on the video here, but you'll be able to see your fold line. Then of course, remember once we do our uh, fold, then we fold it again to the back along that fold line. And then now we're going to do the other side to the middle. So fold that into the middle. There. Fold it nice and flat. And then we fold it to the other side. So now we have our whole piece of paper has now been divided into eight equal parts. Each one is called one-eighth, so we have well, it's always hard to say eight, eight eighths. <laughs> so now basically our folding is done. Um, now we need to cut uh, in the middle, and the way that we're going to cut it is we have to cut only along this middle fold line. Once you get used to, used to this, you'll be able to do it quite easily. I'm going to use a Sharpie marker so that you can see it's from this point here to this point here and we have to cut that. And the easiest way to do it is to fold it in half, short edge to short edge, so that you just have to cut half of the line here. There we go. And now, and now you've cut it, and there's a space uh, here. So, now you're going to fold your paper so that it's in half, long edge to long edge. Then you put this folded edge up towards the ceiling, pinch with your um, thumb and your pointer finger at the top and push it together. And as you can see, it's starting to make a square and then we fold it together and it makes a plus sign. I'm going to do that one more time so you can see. I'm going to put it there, push it together, so fold it to make a plus sign. And now we've got our four pages. So we put one to that side, one to this side here. Now it's got a lot of layers of paper there, so you're going to have to fold it down and we fold all of the edges so that it folds flat. And there's your book. Now that you have your book made, there's a couple of things you can fool around with when you're folding it to make different kinds of books. One thing is to work to change the size and, uh, and the type of paper that you use. So one of the things you can use is you can use uh, lined paper. Uh, I would cut the holes off first. You can use uh, a page from a magazine. And uh, this is some colored paper that was already used on the other side. So you can change the type of paper that you use. You can also change the size of paper. So if I have a slightly different uh, shaped rectangle and a little bit smaller, it's going to make a book that looks like that. And if I go even smaller, I have a piece of paper that looks like this, and then I've got a book that will fold to make a book that size. So once you have your uh, book, you've got to think about what you're going to put inside it. 
So here's one that I made that I used a magazine page. Now the problem with magazine page, well, well the good thing about ma magazine page is it's got lots of colors and lots of cool designs and stuff on it. And you can even have, you know, the size that just has the type on it. However, you can't really read much uh, very easily on it. So take another piece of paper, write what you want on it, and then glue or tape it on. So it says, My Book by Miss R. And then here I started writing some words. Once upon a time, there was a, and then you could continue on. Sometimes you can glue images, pi pictures into the book. That's what I did here. Um, I just found some uh, pictures of birds in a magazine, and I thought, well, I'll make a book called Seven Birds and a Happy Face by Miss R. Always remember when you write a book to put the title and the author's name on it. So we have uh, one bird, two birds, three birds, four birds, five birds, six birds, and seven birds. And you can see here I put a copyright symbol with 220. That way I always remember when I made my book. But you might say, look, it says a happy face. Where's the happy face? Well, that's the cool thing about this kind of a book is you can open it up and you can put something secret inside. There's the happy face inside the book. You could put uh, another note in there, a secret message. You could put a treasure map, all sorts of things you can put inside. Or you don't have to put anything in anything at all. But always remember you push it through here and then refold your book together. So now you're all set to make your own library of different kinds and different sizes of little books. And uh, I hope you use your creativity. I'm really interested to see what people are making. And the best part is, have fun. Now here's a bonus activity for you. If you want to take your uh, regular folded book and put a heart cover on it, I just used cardboard here, um, you can do that. And you can open it up and you can still have your four uh, four pages of books, and you still have your secret opening as well, uh, but it has a hard cover on it. Now I just took a cracker box uh, here, uh, just cut it out here. I took my book and opened it up flat, and as you can see I drew along here, and then I used my scissors to cut it out. Um, I could have used the, uh, I just taped it on here like this. I could have used it to make a book that had like a plain cover on it, but I kind of liked what it looked like with the zesty cheddar ranch uh, flavor on it. So if you want to make a, um, a hardcover for your book, take a, any kind of a cracker box, tissue box, or whatever, and um, just uh, cut it out, fold it in half, and then glue or tape your covers uh, uh, onto the front and back of your uh, regular paper folded book. So um, that's your bonus.